Hello, it's me, Woody, the real one, the uh, in real life Woody. You're normally used to seeing a little CG character, a little VTuber guy. So I just got this Accent Link suit. I've actually had it for a while, but I finally had the chance to dig it out and start messing around with it. It's 2024. People are really starting to get into this 3D thing. We have VTubers, we have animators, we have game developers, we have weirdos like me that do a little bit of everything. Now this year, I, I want to go all the way. I, I want the big guns. I, I want to go all out. I want the nicest motion capture suit I can get without having to spend 70k on like rigging a bunch of uh, <laughs> like cameras into the ceiling and wearing the reflective discs on me and you know having to hire out a whole crew. I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. So uh, first, this suit was a pretty big investment. This is like a quantum leap in terms of like the stuff that we're going to be able to start doing here. I wanted to sort of chart my journey with this suit now, but also over time. I'm be using this bad boy for a lot of stuff, for my VTuber avatar, for recording talent, for animation, and for making game animations and all, all sorts of other little kinds of projects. This seemed like a good place to start. So what's in the box? You get all the sensors that come in a bag of their own. You get your Lycra suit. I bought multiple, so when I'm working with talent, I'm able to size people up and then get them the appropriate suit. You have the router that comes with. You have a charger. You get this special tape measure, which is really cool. And you get a bunch of adapters. You get the battery. You get the Velcro case that the battery comes with, as well as the base unit of the Link suit, which you connect everything to. This is the first motion capture suit that I've ever used that comes in a Pelican case which feels pretty great. Putting the suit together for the first time was a little challenging, I'm not gonna lie. The suit is definitely designed to be set up by a technician after the talent's already suited up. It, you can see it in the videos, like it's in their training videos. Like this is, is designed for specific workflows. Now you can set it up by yourself. I eventually figured it out, it was totally fine. I found that even though I put on the suit in my size, like the size the website suggests, it was incredibly tight. The suits are so tight specifically so that we can absolutely be sure the sensors are in the same place. Like you don't want any sensor shift. Going one size up still feels up, like very tight. I don't know if I would be comfortable doing this on stream for a long period of time. Like, could I do a special event like a concert or something where I'm live where I'm wearing the suit? Absolutely. Could I do animation in it? Yeah, totally. As long as I get to move around. But I think just sitting in the suit for a long time might be a little tricky. Here's a list of all the sensors in terms of their placement on the body. They'll also send you a prop sensor that you could put on a physical object to track. However, something that's worth noting is that with the Link suit, which is, you know, their nicest suit, like your prop sensor is going to come on a cable that gets attached to the arm, whereas if you got in a window, which is their wireless system, you would actually most likely, I don't, I don't own one, but I believe you would get a wireless sensor for that. A wireless one would be helpful for doing actions that would require rotation, like a, like a lightsaber flip or something like that, where the wired sensor might get caught. Now, the hands come with these little... Uh... I, I don't know, fighter class looking little glovelets. These are pretty cool, but you can see the sensors right here inside the top of it. So here's the Stretch Sense Studio Glove. So this is here. Look at that, look at that, it's ready to go. Now, in order to get this foot sensor here, they, they come here with this little tab and you put the sensor on the Velcro tab and you just slide it underneath. These are running shoes that I wear inside the studio and they're actually a little hard to get in there. So like I have the bow tied like right here on top of the sensor, but this can be tricky. The day that I got everything set up and tried this on for the first time, we actually hosted an event here at the studio. Like we had a bunch of other developers over and I was doing a little demonstration of the thing. And oh my God, it's just me walking around in my accent suits. Now I have the modesty shorts on. This is an important thing about this product. It comes with Modesty shorts. XNs will not let you down there. They will not let people see you as God intended. So I booted up MBN. MBN's the software that you get with this. And throughout the course of this party, while I was walking around, this is my first test, I did a couple of different things. First, I ran the battery, right? How good is the battery on this thing? Well, I ran it for like six hours and then I still had 55% of the battery left. Incredibly well performing. The other thing was that it really re maintained its position. So we're in a space that has a bunch of ferrous metals. This is like a, you know, this is like an industrial building. Everything that a motion capture suit typically hates. Um, I end up like walking back and forth from my desk, like all the way down through the studio and back and like eating and getting, you know, drinking and then like coming back and then looking, oh my God, it's still working. Like it still looks really good. Like I'm in the same spot. I'm like walking in the same place. 
got to do a little bit of treadmill testing. That was really cool. Because the suit isn't an optical motion capture suit, although I, I think they do have some options for this if you do want to start trying to do a reference point, the suit doesn't really know where you are in space. So you end up walking and seeing your avatar in MVN continue to walk even though you're just on a treadmill. Shout out to all the people at XNs who made this possible. To get a suit like this, you actually have to get on a sales call. You have to talk to somebody and, you know, human interaction. It's actually really easy, surprisingly easy to set up the suit with MVN. The whole thing comes with its own router, which is really nice. Some suits you need to buy your own. Uh, and that router is pre-configured. So you just press the button and then as long as everything's connected to your network successfully, you're cooking. You know? Okay. So I thought maybe a pop-up tent would be a good way to handle the whole, like I need to get in my suit on stream or something like that. So here's how you calibrate it. You go over here to the calibration button, click that, and then we're gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna calibrate myself. It'll take me through the instructions via audio. Go to a starting position where you can safely perform the calibration. Yeah, that's probably fine. It's gonna beep until it's time to get started. Stand in end pose, relaxed and look straight ahead for three seconds. Now, move around to move and rotate all the sensors. You just want to like make sure all of the sensors get like moved. Stand still to apply and finalize the calibration. The calibration process is now complete. You can move freely now. Press the T key and then I can see my character. Not my character, you know, I'm seeing this the accents boy. Seeing this accents boy. Anyways, look at him, look at him go. So another main selling point for me with this thing was getting 240 hertz speed of mocap processing. Now that's, that's all happening in the connection, but it can also do that on the body pack itself, on the, um, the thing here. It can actually record that on body, which is crazy. So if I left the capture area, it fell out, like Xsense handles that stuff, and I think pretty much automatically. This has been a really cool experience so far, and I'm excited to see where, about where it goes. Now, currently, something's wrong with my license, so like I don't have the correct version of MVN that I need to be able to start streaming to Unreal. It's also why I'm not talking about the software very much. Like I'll, I'll probably end up making another video about that sometime. I'm already talking to customer support and hopefully within the next couple of weeks, you see this thing happening live. You should see me as my character, but with really good body proportions. I'm actually a little bit nervous just from seeing things in MVN that because my character already shares like a lot of traits with me and because it's, it's basically me and because of just the way that he looks and stuff, I'm actually like a little nervous this is gonna end up in the uncanny valley Be because the suit's good because it's good you can hear the uh the zipper 